Hello and welcome to this video session where I will show you how to manage centralized log collection from your macOS computers. My name is Gábor Sidonia and I'm a technical pre-sales engineer at NXLog. This session's goals would be to identify the difficulties of the log collection on modern macOS systems, have an overview on NXLog's features and see how it's possible to collect logs from macOS systems with the NXLog agent. Why do we need logs at all? In the present days, collecting logs is not just recommended, but required if you want to run a secure IT system. In example, HIPAA and PCI DSS require to collect logs for auditing purposes. Storing the logs can be mandatory, but we also need to analyze them continuously to understand what is happening in our infrastructure. The same, which stands for security information and event management, is responsible to analyze log messages and based on different patterns and rules, it sends alerts when endpoints do something which is prohibited or suspicious. When the system can do automated interactions on the top of alerting to prevent further prohibited activities, we talk about the SOAR, which stands for Security Orchestration, Automation and Response. The reliability of these solutions can increase when they get logs from all elements of the infrastructure. Usually these SIEM solutions come with their own log collector solution, but in most cases they lack of features or don't support all operating systems or log sources. What is log aggregation? Log aggregation is the process of collecting all these logs from different sources, normalize them to the SIEM solution, because many log sources use different formats for logging. Every SIEM's options are limited in parsing, and if they cannot translate the messages to match their criteria, they cannot process the messages, and the whole log collection can be useless. Aggregation solutions can also introduce some features like filtering or deduplication. A good aggregation solution supports various log sources, can parse and change data structures, filters out the unimportant or spam log messages from the stream, and by doing this, it can decrease the load on the logging infrastructure or the costs of operating a SIEM solution. What other benefits does the log aggregation solution have? Since the log collection part is in a completely separated and separately managed system, we can have full control over the log collection and we are not facing any limitations which we would have with the SIEM solution's built-in log collector. We can also send logs to multiple SIMs at the same time. In case we want to change the SIM solution, we can keep the log collection part and all source systems. This makes the change cheaper and faster. With the filtering options, we can save a lot on disk space, and since the reports don't need to deal with that much data, we also save processing time and other resources. Some cloud-driven SIM solutions charge after the data which is stored in their cloud. With the right filtering configuration, we can cut those costs drastically. So what's the deal with macOS? macOS has unique roots, and because of that it's often considered more secure than Windows. This is a common misconception, since the attackers have already identified the increasing number of macOS devices in the past couple of years, and started attacking these devices more often. In the last 10 years, macOS could double the market share. If we check the number of reported security vulnerabilities, Windows 10 had 2693 since its release and Mac OS had 1750 since Windows 10 was released. That number is not linear to the market share. Like most systems, Mac OS is collecting logs about most of the things which happens on the device. These logs are generated onto the local disk in text files and databases, but Apple has no solution to send these logs to a central location or SIEM. For a long time, macOS has used the traditional Unix logging methods, but in 2016 they wanted to standardize the logging between all their platforms, so they developed AUL, which stands for Apple Unified Log. This can be considered as a counterpart of Windows events in Windows systems. Some of the old log messages were not transferred to the new system, and there is no way to redirect third-party application logs to AUL. We can say this change increased overall security, but brought some problems to the log collection since the data is no longer stored in text files. There is no built-in solution to send the logs to a remote destination, so the only solution is to use the third-party agent for that. 
Apple changes some details in the AUI system in every new release. They don't share much information about these changes, but we are aware of this and we continuously test and develop our modules with all the releases to follow these changes. How does an XLog come to the picture? An XLog can collect logs from endpoints which can run the agent, and there is also an option to collect log streams from endpoints which has no NXLog agent installed. The agent was developed to collect many log types from many log sources, and after some parsing and filtering, it can send the logs to various destinations like SIEM solutions or storages. Many SIEM vendors try to force customers to use their agents to send data to the SIEM, and with this method they want to log the customers to use only their products for everything. We developed our solution to be vendor agnostic, and we've always put focus on the easy integration with all the same solutions. We are independent of any vendor, and with our product you can also send logs to all destinations, even in the same time. Our agent supports the most common operating systems, but there's a chance to run the agent in Docker on any operating system, or collect logs with the agentless method from any log source which can actively send them. The agent can collect the log information from Windows events, macOS kernel, AUL, and even the macOS security module. Different network appliances, which can stream their logs to syslog servers or any other destinations, Linux system files and databases, Linux audit logs, DHCP and DNS servers both on Windows and Linux. On every supported operating system we can read local files, no matter if they are text-based or binary, SQL databases, and we also support different SCADA protocols. With the packet capture module, we can monitor the network traffic and catch any kind of log streams, or even trigger some alerts with the agent, based on any kind of statistics or behavior on the network. On the other side, we support the most common SIEM solutions, either on-premise or in the cloud, and of course if there is no SIEM deployed in the infrastructure, and you only need to collect logs for auditing purposes, you can also choose storages or file shares as destination. Every agent can send these logs individually to the destination, or you can deploy a central collector, which aggregates all the agent streams and sends everything forward in a single traffic. The central collector can work in a clustered manner, so the resiliency is pretty high. If you run a cluster to collect logs from NXLog agents, you don't even need the load balancer, which can really increase the cost with other vendors. You can configure the load balancing on the log source agents. There's an active standby option in the configuration for better resource utilization and endpoint management. With this configuration, you can manage all log sources with a single template. The agent has a text file-based configuration, which can be easily edited with any text editor, and this language is really easy to understand. This simple example configuration has an input module, which we can see now with blue letters. This input module reads three event types from macOS endpoint security module, and the green part is an output module, which parses all collected log messages to syslog and sends them to the example scene host in a TCP stream. The black route is the place which connects inputs to outputs. You can add different modules, even for input and output, with different details, and you can define separated routes for your needs. If you want to add a special task to the module, like parsing or filtering, you can put your own code inside the module. The naming convention of the modules contain the IM for the input modules, OM for the output modules, and XM for the extension modules. NXLog also has a standalone manager instance, which can help with the configuration. The manager's responsibility is to centrally manage the agents in the infrastructure. It has no access to the logs, only controls the agent process on the endpoints. The process monitoring is also handled by the manager, and this feature has great status use. It makes easier to configure the agents through its UI, and all these configurations can be exported and imported. You can create configuration templates and assign them to multiple endpoints at the same time. NXLog can use certificates for the encrypted log transferring, and the manager has its built-in PKI system to manage these certificates. There's an option to define patterns and correlation rules on the user interface, 
And with this feature you can write really complicated configurations without any coding skills. The manager server can be deployed on Linux or Docker. And the clustering is also available for the software if you want to have resiliency or you just want to have an instance in every region. We can see some example pages from the manager. It collects usage statistics and counters from the agents even on the module level. You can define agent groups in the manager and assign configuration templates, so for most cases you don't need to log into every log source to change the configuration or troubleshoot some login issues. Let's talk about the modules now. For macOS we have developed some special modules. IAM underscore macULS is responsible for the new AUL logs. The IAM underscore macES module is responsible for the endpoint security of macOS. For both of these, there's an option to choose the event types you want to collect. The IAM underscore BSM module collects logs from the BSM auditing system, which was used till El Capitan, and is deprecated since then. The XM underscore ASL module can be used to parse the ASL files to the structured format, which Seams can understand. Besides of these specific modules, there's chance to use generic modules as well. IAM underscore kernel collects log from the kernel log buffer and it works for macOS, BSDs and Linux distributions. The IAM underscore file can be used for file-based logs, both text and binary format. And with the right configuration of this module you can even read logs from compressed files as well. The IAM underscore theme can be used for file integrity monitoring. So whenever the specified file has some changes on the file system level, it generates a message. The IAM underscore exec is used for logging the output of different commands and it can be useful if a process or application has no internal logging or in example if you want to send periodic status reports of some system details. I have recorded a simple demonstration with three machines. My MacBook Air was collecting logs with the IAM underscore MacUS and IAM underscore MacES. These logs were sent through two separated TCP streams towards the collector. The collector was a Debian machine with two IMTCP modules, which listened to this traffic and after parsing, it wrote everything to a file with the OM underscore file module. Everything was sent to Sentinel as well with the OM underscore Azure module. The manager was also running on Debian and I could set the configuration of the two other machines on it. I could manage the certificates and I could see the statistics data of the file transfers. On this diagram, we can see how the things are connected together. I have configured the IAM underscore MacULS module to filter for the string failed and drop everything else. The IAM underscore MacES module is collecting mount and unmount events. The two separated OM underscore TCP modules send these two separated inputs towards the same collector in two streams. The reason behind this is only to show the custom routing capabilities of the agent. On the collector machine, we will see the two TCP inputs and both will parse the incoming traffic to JSON. Here these two streams are merged together and one copy of the whole stream is written to file with the OM underscore file module and the other copy is sent to Sentinel with the OM underscore Azure module. I have chosen Microsoft Sentinel for this demonstration, but of course it could have been any other SIM solutions from the previously seen list. The manager is not appearing on this diagram, since it is not in the path of any log traffic. On the left side we can see the manager machine, and uh, on its agent list we have the collector machine fully configured and the manager itself. I have deployed the NXLog agent package with the manager certificate on my MacBook, and I have set the manager's IP address in the agent's configuration. After starting the process, the MacBook shows up on the list as an untrusted endpoint. I just need to check the checkbox next to it and go to Certificate Management, Issue Certificate. It takes a few seconds since it's also restarting the agent on the endpoint. Once it is green, we can start configuring it. I want to assign a pre-built configuration template to it, so let's check what's in that template first. We have an input module for Mac ES logs and an input module for Mac ULS. 
two separated outputs for demonstrating the routing options, and the syslog extension module for parsing. If I check the Mac ES module's configuration under the Expert tab, we can see that it's only collecting mount and unmount events right now. The Mac ULS module has a special filtering and only accepts logs with the word failed in them. Everything else is dropped. On the right side we can see the collector machine and we start to monitor the file output of the log streams there. I go back to the manager and assign the configuration template to the Macbook. The process sends the template configuration file to the agent and restarts the agent process. Before mounting anything to the machine, let's just check Sentinel if there are no previous log messages. I run the query for all logs in the table and it gives no result back for the last 30 minutes. Ok, I can attach an image now to the macOS system. And the mounting log message appears on the collector. I unmount it from the system and another message appears. Let's go back to Sentinel and rerun the query. We can see the two new log messages. All the fields are filled, so the parsing has worked, and we can find every detail in the message. If we check the agent's statistics, we can see that there are two received and two sent messages for the Mac ES as expected. And there are almost 15k messages for Mac ULS which were all dropped since they did not contain the word fail. So how can you start with an Xlog? You can try your agent and manager with a 30 days trial license. The only thing you need to do is to go to nxlog.co slash request hyphen trial and download the packages for your operating system. Our publicly available documentation is reachable at docs.nxlog.co slash user guide. Here you can find detailed deployment guides for every operating system and configuration examples for the most common use cases. If you have issues with the configuration, just don't hesitate to contact us and we try to answer all your questions. Thank you for your attention.